um, apparently, if you are Congolese and you want to go, uh, Congolese from Kinshasa, you want to go to Brazzaville, you need visa to go there. I mean, sometimes I feel like we should stop blaming colonialism, yeah? Sometimes it's our fault. Welcome to Pan-African Lifestyle, where we rep the motherland. We post content regularly and invite you to subscribe and share if you're a pal. That's a Pan-African Lifestyler. It's crazy how I'm in Kinshasa, but I can see Brazzaville right there, and they both have the name Congo, yeah? But there's no bridge that is connecting the two countries. Um, apparently, if you are Congolese and you want to go, to, uh, Congolese from Kinshasa, you want to go to Brazzaville, you need visa to go there. I mean, sometimes I feel like we should stop blaming colonialism. Yeah, sometimes it's our fault. You know, I I, I just don't get it, man. That's crazy, man. Like they, they speak the same language, right? But because they were colonized by um, the French and this one was colonized by the Belgian, they decided not to. I mean. They decided not to come together. They decided to be in their separate ways. But sometimes when you think about these things, I'll be like, I mean, coloni colonization is over, right? So why is it that we keep on, I mean, following the footsteps of the colon colonists? It's crazy, man. I don't even know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, but the view is beautiful, actually. And um, that is the Congo River right there, the deepest river in the world, second largest in Africa after the Nile. What else do you want me to know? Enough is enough. We've learned a lot. Thanks for tuning in to Pan-African Lifestyle. Share your thoughts in the comment section and follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Pan-African Lifestyle. To be inspired for awesome pal merch, check out Pan-African Lifestyle slash shop. Keep repping the motherland. When I came to Congo, I found out that Congolese don't actually consume what is made in Congo. But seeing something like this being produced, packaged in Congo, makes me so proud as an African. So you know what? I'm just going to tell each and everyone out there, share this video, let the world know that in Congo, there is someone who is doing fantastic by producing chocolate. I mean, made in Congo chocolate.